This video is intended to introduce the concept of stormwater retrofitting and describe how to conduct a retrofit field assessment. We'll be visiting two potential retrofit sites at a university campus and demonstrating how to gather information and assess opportunities for potential retrofit concepts. But first, let's cover some retrofitting basics. Retrofits are stormwater management practices inserted into an urban landscape where little or no prior stormwater controls exist, or where the existing controls were ineffective. By removing pollutants and promoting more natural hydrology, they represent an attempt to go back and fix what has been done before. Many of our watersheds were developed without stormwater management practices, or with stormwater management practices that don't do everything we'd like them to. This has caused a number of problems within our watersheds. Retrofits can be used to address some of these problems and help restore and improve conditions within our watersheds. Stormwater retrofits have been used to fix past mistakes and maintenance problems, solve chronic flooding problems, demonstrate and educate the public about watershed issues, and reduce pollutants of concern such as phosphorus or nitrogen. Retrofits have also been used to reduce stormwater runoff volumes, especially when combined sewer overflows are a problem, trap trash and floatables, reduce downstream channel erosion, and support stream restoration projects by stabilizing the stormwater inputs to the stream. And the one big overarching reason to implement stormwater retrofits. Almost all stormwater regulations address only new and redevelopment an effort aimed at protecting the existing water quality conditions and keep them from getting worse. Retrofitting is different in that it is aimed at addressing runoff from existing sites or redevelopment sites, not new development. So retrofitting involves moving beyond protection and on to restoration. While it is not the only means for restoring a watershed, it is usually a very important aspect of an overall watershed restoration plan. The scope of stormwater retrofits can be highly variable. Retrofits can be small, like the simple downspout disconnection shown in the upper left. This type of retrofit has the advantage of being easy and inexpensive, but the actual water quality benefits are often relatively low as well, due mainly to the small size of the contributing drainage area. As retrofits get larger, like the bioretention area in the middle, they often get more complex to design and more expensive but generally provide more stormwater treatment as well. The largest and most complex retrofits, like stream restoration or constructed wetlands, often provide excellent water quality benefits and may even do it for a very low unit cost, but the total cost and the complicated design can make them more difficult to implement. Depending on the goals of a particular retrofit effort, all levels of complexity should be considered when assessing a site for retrofit potential. Speaking of retrofit goals, scale is an important issue to consider as well. Retrofitting is an activity that happens on the site scale, but the solutions developed at the site scale must fit into the neighborhood, community, and watershed scales as well. While stormwater retrofitting presents a great opportunity to address many of the problems caused by lacking or deficient stormwater management practices, it can also be challenging. We are attempting to fit these practices into urban landscapes that were often not developed or laid out with stormwater management in mind. In many highly developed urban areas, many constraints may exist, such as utility obstructions, slope, or lack of available space. Which leads to the great retrofitting paradox. It's usually the most urbanized areas that have the most problems and need the most retrofitting help yet urbanized areas generally have the least space available to install a retrofit. That's not to say it's impossible, just that it is challenging at times, and that it is important to have a plan before you set out. Stormwater retrofitting is part art and part science. Retrofitting requires a different and somewhat artistic way of thinking. Retrofitters must be extremely creative to find and design stormwater retrofits that will effectively correct the problems that are being addressed within a subwatershed. Designers need to simultaneously envision restoration possibilities and potential problems, and must have sleuthing and investigative skills to determine what will work best at what are often highly constrained sites.
Designers must also be patient and not get overly excited by a potential retrofit opportunity, only to miss a major site constraint while they are at the retrofit site. A retrofitter should also have some technical knowledge as well. This includes a practical understanding of hydrology, hydraulics, and stormwater engineering, and a knowledge of potential stormwater retrofit locations and practices. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, a retrofitter needs to understand the big picture, why you're out looking for retrofits, and what you hope to accomplish.